everyone, it's John from What Up, and welcome back to another video. Now, we have a special treat for you today. It comes directly from the set in Soria in Morocco, some video and some pictures. Now, you've noticed in the past, I've been very hesitant to show actual set pictures and set videos for a number of different reasons, but it boils down to basically this. Anything shared by the production team, by cast, by crew, or from a closed set, I can't showcase because they've all signed legal agreements saying that they wouldn't actually take pictures and video, they wouldn't actually post it anywhere, so I'm going to get A, someone in trouble, and B, Sony and Amazon own that because it comes from a closed set, so they can actually take that stuff down, uh, which we've seen in the past in Reddit posts, things that Nargis shared on Instagram or on Twitter, the posts were actually removed. But... When we get something that's taken by a local or a tourist from a public place, open air, that's something we can absolutely share because it has someone with no affiliation to the show whatsoever. Um, they signed no agreements and they're just walking by and they can take pictures and video of this and, and basically there's no security there telling them they can't, so they can do that. Now, this is what's happening here. So coming out of Asoria in Morocco, there's a popular tourist location that they've modified, which I've talked about in another video, where they're going to film some scenes for episode 7 and 8. Um... It's a popular tourist location. It's a popular thing for the locals to go to and see. Um, anybody can walk by. Anybody can take pictures and video. It's absolutely open air. It doesn't check any of those boxes of things we can't showcase. So if I get stuff like this, absolutely, I'll share it with you folks because I can. Now, this comes courtesy of Robert Ferguson. He's a local uh, in Asoria. He managed to take a bunch of video and a bunch of pictures of stuntmen practicing and a, a few shots of the set. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go through a couple of videos. First one will be the sound. Second one will be... Just me talking commentary a little bit over top of it. Um, and then we'll showcase some of the pictures and we'll talk about them, zoom in and try to get some of the details of what's going on. Now, you'll notice in the background of the video of sound, there's a lot of people talking and kind of murmuring and babbling in the background. That's because, like I said, this is a public location. It's popular with tourists and locals. Anybody can walk by. Anybody can take pictures and video. Um, it's just one of those things. They haven't closed all of that down. So... That's why we can actually showcase this stuff, because it comes from someone else. They've actually posted it to their Insta, I reached out to them, and then they sent me a bunch of stuff they'd taken uh, in, in the days since. So, it's pretty neat. Now, before we actually get into the video, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what we do here, we cover Wheel of Time show news, that's leaks, official stuff, set videos, pictures, castings, rumors, you name it, we cover it here. We haven't had a whole lot of official news from Sony and Amazon the last couple of months, so anything we get, we like to showcase and talk about, which is pretty neat. So if you do like what we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and if you like this video, click the like button, because for some reason YouTube likes to reward videos with a lot of number of likes. So make the algorithm happy, like the video if you actually like what I'm doing here, support the channel. Now, before we get into the video, I'm going to give a slight spoiler warning. So, spoiler warning, in this video we're talking about set videos and pictures from Season 2 of Sony and Amazon's Wheel of Time show that's currently filming in Soria in Morocco. So if you haven't watched the first season, or if you haven't read at least the first three books of Robert George's Wheel of Time series, that's The Eye of the World, The Great Hunt, and The Dragon Reborn, I'm going to ruin small plot points, character arcs, names, things that have happened, just so you're aware. All right, you've been warned, so let's get on to the video. Really very neat. Uh, it, it's kind of cool to see some of the stunt crew there practicing and performing what they're going to be doing on screen. No idea how it's exactly going to look, but I have a couple of more videos here. Um, we're going to showcase them here now. Uh, I'll just talk over them a bit because, I, I, I mean, uh, they, I can't show all three of them at once with the sound because it's garbled, but it's more of the same. You hear people murmuring in the background, so you know there's kind of a crowd watching and they, they think it's kind of cool. Um, and you can hear the, the, the stunt crew kind of yelling and hollering in the background because it's a little bit further away, the wind and whatnot. But it's really very neat. Now, there's a few things uh, I, I want to talk about in that particular video and the other three ones, but we're going to do that in just one moment. So here, here's the other three videos I have. All right, so in these videos, and they all aren't exactly the same length, but we're seeing more of the same. We're seeing the stunt crew kind of practicing. They're all fighting each other. There's a couple notable things that we're going to talk about when we see the pictures and, and the screenshots that Robert has sent us. And, and again, thank you so much for this, Robert. It's really cool. But you notice there's pretty much everybody has swords. I, I don't see many other different types of weapons there. I see uh, what appears to be uh, a hammer at one point. Um, or perhaps a mace, but I don't see many Aiel type weapons like spears, and we see one person in particular kind of uh, running around in the middle there dual wielding. So someone on Reddit had recently mentioned that they'd only seen one person in the books dual wielding, and that was Perrin, although 
they can do pretty much whatever they want for the show. And we know that Daniel Henney has recently done an interview where he talked about uh, being excited to be able to use two swords at once. So kind of dual wielding while he's fighting uh, multiple fades. So I don't exactly know who that one person that's dual wielding in this video is. But it could be Perrin, uh, it could be Lan, we have no idea, it could be anybody. But really neat to see these sort of things. And I'll jump into some of these pictures and screenshots that Robert also sent us. And again, thank you so very much for this, Robert. It's really very neat. And the fans, uh, all thank you as well. All right, so now that we see some of these pictures that Robert sent us, um, essentially we get a few more details here. So you'll notice that someone right in the middle there looks to have a shield with a sunburst on it. So I'm going to assume that some of these stunt crew are going to play White Cloaks. Now we know that we've seen White Cloaks uh, filming in Orza's 8. Uh, we've seen videos of them, or, or at least I have seen videos of them on horseback, and there's pictures and stuff out there of that, which we'll talk about in my next video. Um, but I'm pretty sure we're seeing some of Falme here or something similar to that because we know there are going to be White Cloaks on this particular set. Um, and seeing that shield there just kind of confirms that. Now, as we go through here, you can see them all fighting. Most people appear to have swords. Uh, there's, there's a couple people with differing weapons, although I don't see many with spears or any with spears, actually. Uh, maybe some of you eagle-eyed uh, viewers out there can, can figure out if you can see that or not. I didn't really see it, so let me know in the comments down below if you see anything different than that. But I would say this is probably most likely going to be either Sean Chan or White Cloaks or both um, without any shadow spawn here at all because uh, everyone seems to be fighting with a weapon of some sort rather than just their hands or spears. Now, a lot of very neat shots of the stunt crew here. Uh, they're all practicing and there is a ton of people here. Now, we know that they have a lot of people filming in uh, Asoria and in other locations in Morocco, such as Marrakesh or Orza's 8, but it's really cool to see this. We know that with COVID restrictions, kindly kind of different than they were before, they're kind of loosened a bit. They can have more people on set, so we're going to see, hopefully, some uh, more big, kind of amazing looking battles, because we know the big battles in Season 1 were just overshadowed by restrictions and different things that had come in, into play, and they'd use a lot of CG for some things, uh, and it didn't really look as cool or as nice as they'd wanted to, so I'm kind of hoping that Season 2 will live up to the hype that we're all giving it right now. Now, this is basically far back from when they were standing, this is when they were setting up. Um, what you're seeing down below there is a part of the set as well, um, so there's a lot of different... Um, I'm going to say objects, whether they be uh, jewelry or different things they're selling, uh, kind of like a market type esque area down below. Uh, a few different companies in uh, Asoria have actually posted things saying that they've created things for this shoot. Um, they've replicated things that would normally be sold in open air markets in Morocco, and they're using them for this particular shoot. Although I did reach out to them, I didn't get permission to use any of their, their footage or their. Or, or their uh, pictures of their items but that is happening and what we're seeing down there is a lot of those different things um, again really great shot of that shield with the sunburst on it so i'm guessing that that particular stunt person is a white cloak now what's interesting is far to the left there you see a person in a gray shirt holding up what looks to be a buckler and that looks an awful lot like an Aiel buckler almost exactly how i would imagine they would look um, and i can't tell with what weapon that person is fighting with so i I don't know exactly if there's going to be Aiel here on the set at the same time, um, but that buckler is fairly reminiscent of what an Aiel would use. So we have three different options as far as I'm concerned with who these people are. White Cloaks, almost a surety. Sean Chan, almost a surety. I've seen pictures of the, the costumes on set here in Asoria um, with, with full armor and the, and the really grotesque looking helmets, which are amazing. Um, and perhaps Aiel as well. Um, I don't know if there's going to be anyone else here, any Shadow Spawn or things like that. I don't see any indication that that's what we're going to see with these people, uh, but it's also a possibility. Uh, again, uh, a little bit better clear shot further back. And... This is where they're setting up. I see someone there uh, dressed all in black, sort of in the middle of the screen. It looks like they have a staff, so that's a possibility as well. Now, we know there's a bunch of casts currently in Asoria filming, so I'm guessing that we're going to see some of the main characters here. We'll probably see Perrin, we'll probably see Loyal, we'll probably see Matt. Um, I don't know who else we'll see in this particular shots, but I'm kind of hoping that maybe we'll see them fighting. Now, this last particular shot here is what's down below. So remember I was saying that there's market stuff uh, with a lot of trinkets and different things that are open air markets that are being re re um, recreated, I should say, for the show, for the sets. Um, that's what you get to see here. So this here, this hallway leading down into, I guess you'd say, or entryway leading down to this lower open air market, um, 
it's pretty neat and it's been showcased in a couple of different videos that I've seen. Um, and there are some banners around that sort of look like they could be Shan Chan banners. Um, although I'm not entirely sure, you don't see them here in this particular shot, but it is very neat to see. All right, so that's what I had for you folks. Those are the pictures and the videos sent to us by Robert Ferguson. Again, thank you so much, Robert. We really do appreciate it as fans. We love seeing this sort of thing, especially since we're not getting any official news whatsoever. There's been absolute radio silence for a couple of months now. Um, the last thing I think we got officially was a Q&A through Empire Magazine's podcast with Rave Judkins, the showrunner. Since then, we've got absolutely nothing. Um, everything we've gotten is either from leaks or from, from locals or tourists, and we're glad to get that because really we don't know a whole lot of what's going on with the show, and we know for sure they're pretty much not going to market much of it until after Lord of the Rings drops because they're very focused on Lord of the Rings right now because that seems to be Amazon's golden child. That's going to be their big fantasy property, and I think Wheel of Time will be a second behind that, uh, almost assuredly, since they're sharing crews and sharing directors and whatnot. Now, let me know in the comments down below what you folks think. What do you think of these videos? It is neat to see. Uh, it doesn't give us a ton of information, but we can speculate on what we're going to see uh, towards the end of Season 2. We're not going to see a big battle here. I can't wait to do a video for Episode 7 or 8 of Season 2 and come back to this one and say my guesses were absolute trash or they were pretty cool and, and, and close to spot on and see the same things done up with all of the uh, After Effects uh, and, and polished and post. That's what I can't wait to do. All right. Thank you so very much for sticking with me here to the very end. Here's to many more.